Good afternoon, everyone. It's Rob from Next Truck Sales, and I want to take this opportunity and introduce you to our 2020 Coronado Glider. Uh, Glider is a brand new truck with a remanufactured powertrain. It's 100% legal, can be driven anywhere in North America except the state of California, which requires trucks to have 2011 or newer emission controls. So what the deal is, this is a brand new truck. It would have been ordered brand new in 2019 as a completely brand new truck. So let's start there. Brand new truck. And then they put in a remanufactured engine, transmission and axles, makes it completely legal. This one has the famous 14 liter. 12, uh, it actually is a non-EGR engine. So this is no DEF, no DPF, no EGR. And it's a 14 liter, which came out for about two years between 2001 and 2002. Uh, it's a 550 horsepower, 1850 torque engine. Uh, the EGR version of this engine was 515 horsepower and 1650. That is not this engine. It is a 550, 1850 with a 13 speed manual. I'll take you through the truck, show you a little bit about it, explain uh, some of the things we've done, some of the things we've yet to do and explain the process if you happen to be watching this truck and you're in the US. So a glider again, it's a brand new truck, comes off the assembly line like all the rest of the trucks without the three components of the powertrain. Uh, the system allows you to install one. In this case, it was a powered glider, meaning the engine was installed at the factory, but the engine is a remanufactured Detroit 14 liter. So let's take a look under the hood for starter, because I know that's the attraction to this unit. So the beautiful thing is you're getting a newer truck with old emission control technology. The 14 liter and the 12.7 Detroit Series 60, the, probably one of the best engines ever made. Uh, obviously the C15, arguably good, and the M14 were both great engines as well. And pretty much anything built before emission controls were introduced it was a great engine <coughs> excuse me but the series 60 was famous for great fuel economy uh easy to fix lasted forever lots of availability of parts and that's the attraction so let's have a look here under the hood you'll see a non-egr engine your pipe goes straight from you know your air to air over to your intake manifold you'll see here that there's no egr piping on here Look at the manufacture date, 2018. So I used to build, well, I didn't build them, but I sold them. My, my dealership would assemble them, uh, gliders. And I found that uh, when you looked at these engines, as they came to us, it was really, really hard to tell that they weren't brand new. I don't know if what they did as far as the remanufacturing process if they just recycled the serial number and put everything brand new but it sure looked like that way so have a look here this is a 550 horse take a look here you'll see it is a remanufactured serial number it's hard to tell but it says 2019 right there so remanufactured in 2019 and I'm not sure if you can see that I'll try and zoom in so you've got it's remanufactured to the spec of the day being a 2020 would have been reman uh in built in 2019 everything's a year ahead nowadays so nonetheless smaller radiator because obviously we're not trying to cool off egr gases lighter front end because we don't have to worry about the weight of the bigger engine and the after treatment system so really easy to fix super reliable and, you know, people are talking about deleting trucks nowadays, and obviously you can't do that. This truck is 100% legal, and like I said, the only place you can't run it is California because they require 2011 or newer emissions. They require the DEF system to be on and working. This truck, or this engine rather, was designed long before we had any type of emission controls on these trucks. So take a look here. Okay, so we've got... Uh, this is a this was a brand new frame everything the truck is 100% brand new when this truck was sold to the customer You got drum brakes on the front now. We still need to run this truck through the shop We still need to service it There's a lot of things yet to be done and we'll do that once we make a deal on this particular truck But for now, I'm just excited to to be able to say that we have four of these units in stock We've got three th three 2020s one 2019 
They're all the same color in spec, 550, 1850 engines and 13 speed manuals. So take a look here. Okay, so one of the things that the Series 60 was pretty famous for was leaking oil. We're gonna make sure that none of these trucks are leaking oil when you take delivery. Uh, so I'm gonna leave this open for a bit only because I'm gonna come back to it and show you the engine running. So for now, let's just go through the rest of the truck. Excuse me, this particular one doesn't have the 265 wheelbase with the toolboxes. It's a 244 wheelbase, so you only get one toolbox there and a 150 gallon tank. In order to get the extra toolbox there, you need at least 265. This one is not. Uh, on the front here, we've got 11R225 steers, toils, good wear. I would say we're looking at 80% tread remaining. Let's have a look here. So here we've got a toolbox, a 150 tank, aluminum, stainless steel straps. You've got a 70 inch sleeper. This is similar to a Columbia on the inside, a little upgrade. They did make these trucks in this style up until 2007. Uh, maybe even through 2010, I'm trying to remember, but uh, 2007 for sure you could get, still buy this truck new with that style of front end. Have a look here. We've got a little bit of something's banged into the back of the cab on this one. Okay. We've got a Webasto air top bunk heater. We've got brand new 11R225 drives. Offshore. Outside aluminum wheels. We've got Alcoa. Looks like Durb rates here. Uh, maybe level one's hard to tell. And inside steel. Okay. Airliner 40 pound rears. Three foot slider, Holland 3500 fifth wheel. Looks like it's just been rebuilt. Lots of adjustment left on that nut. Some brand new mud flap hangers. Full locking differentials. Okay, so we've got the locking solenoid right there. Single 3 8 inch frame. Again, all new drive tires on this unit. Okay. <clears throat> Over here, we've got some stainless quarter fenders, a step up air tank, okay, cab leveling valve. Here, we've got another much smaller dent. Something's obviously banked into the back. Looks like the glad hand holder's busted off. The glad hand holder and things of that nature leaks and lights and that. We'll deal with when we sell this truck to an end user that's buying it DOT certified. For now, this is still a great truck because the one thing I can guarantee you, you're never going to get a check engine light for any sort of emission related issues because there is none of that system on this truck. So have a look here. You can see certified in February 2019 and our, our weights are, where are we here? So that's a 12,000 and that's a 20,000. As far as the weights go, we've got your elite seat with basic adjustments, no heat, cloth, Cordura. A little bit of wear in the center of the seat, but still I like the Cordura because it wears well. Power locks, mirrors, windows. You've got the upgraded door on this one. The Coronado didn't always have this door. It had sort of a Columbia style. And if you look here, this is a Columbia or Century style dash with the upgraded Rosewood. Take a look in here, you'll see the previous owner has put some chrome bits on it. A 13 speed manual. We've got a wood and leather steering wheel. Again, it's not new and it will need some, it's gonna need a windshield. We've got a chip here right in this driver's line of sight. And we've got another one there. So let's get this started up. It's kind of a bit of the old and a bit of the new. So have a look here. You know, you get your old dash, then we got a Bluetooth Bluetooth radio, which didn't even exist when this truck was originally put to market. We got heated mirrors. Uh, your cruise is here. Okay, it looks like we've got an ABS light. We'll get that solved, not to worry. 353,000 miles, that's on the truck, the chassis, and everything from the truck when it was sold new in 2019. Okay, the engine, like I said, was remanufactured by Detroit. Detroit Remanufacturing East in their Michigan plant, and that is shipped uh, with the engine, with the truck in the engine bay, installed by the manufacturer. And the good thing about that is 
when you buy a power glider, you're gonna get all the parts components from your dealer. They'll be able to tell you which parts go into that truck under the hood. Uh, let's have a look here. So inside, we've got a refrigerator. You got a pull-out drawer, a little lock on there. Okay, nice and clean. Uh, let me see if we can get some lights on in here. It's a little dark. Okay, so we've got uh, Wabasto air top bunk heater. Okay, we're gonna put mattresses in. They're on order. A cup holder there. Uh, new mattress will be installed when we've got a deal pending. Uh, mattress will go up top, two beds. This is your 70 inch sleeper with your premium interior. So you've got crushed velour velvet material with a button tuck, which is nice. This also has the premium insulation package. So it'll give you better insulation. Makes the air conditioning and heater not have to work as hard. Take a look over here. So you've got your bunk heater is there. You've got your heating and air conditioning system is there. First aid kit and a fire extinguisher. You get 50-50 on the carpet. So carpet is here and then we've got vinyl there, which is fine. There you have it. So let's go out and have a listen to this engine running. I'm gonna turn it down so you can hear a little better. Let's go have a, a listen to this beautiful engine running, the 14 liter. To turn it off so you can hear me talk uh, one thing about the series 60 engines they always had blow-by didn't matter matter whether they were new used worn out or not they always pumped out blow-by and they'd run forever so really what comes down on this particular engine is when they start using oil this one with 350,000 miles on it I wouldn't imagine it's a concern but the beautiful thing about these engines, the best thing about them is, man, were they ever cheap to fix. You can replace the whole engine with a remanufactured unit drop-in for less than what it would cost you to do like a cylinder head on some other trucks. They're cheap to fix, and that's a beautiful thing. And availability of parts, they still manufacture the Series 60 engine in third world countries you know for overseas in africa or in south america so this engine's not discontinued the parts are still readily available so having a look here you'll see it's a 2020 chassis everything on that truck was new in 2019 and then the engine was remanufactured and installed along with the transmission and axles to make a complete unit that being said if you happen to be watching this truck and you're in the US and you're interested in purchasing it, 
We do offer a service where we will bring the truck to Buffalo for you and you can take delivery of the truck uh, from our yard in Buffalo. And if you want us to convert the title over to US, we can do that as well. We typically will supply you all the paperwork that you're gonna need to convert the title. And then we'll also supply you with a 10 day license plate in order to drive the truck home from our yard in Buffalo. So if this truck interests you, obviously still some things to be done if you want them done. Give us a call. Our number's area code 844-489-8789. It's Rob at Next Truck Sales. Thanks and hope to hear from you soon. Bye for now.